Hey guys, so I'm bringing you guys in on me doing some knotless braids, but these are going to be boho and they turned out so beautiful. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start braiding in. You're going to see I'm adding the hair in from the top. Now I'm going to have different videos showing you different methods and I already do have videos that you can go look at, but this is going directly over the top. If you have trouble adding it from the side, maybe you can try from the top and you see, um, you're not seeing where I add it. Even though you see me tuck it in from the top, you are not seeing it in the braid, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and plait all of these down to the bottom. So just stay tuned. I'm not gonna add the hair in until the very, very, very end. And I'm gonna add the hair in along the side of the plait. So just stay tuned. It's gonna look really, really cute in the end. Now the hair that I'm using, this is the Free Tress Pre-Stretched and the curly hair i'm not sure the brand that she brought i believe that it's free tress and i'm not sure if it's the deep twist um but i am so sorry that i actually forgot the brand that she brought but you could probably get away with the free tress um free, not the free tress pre-stretch but the free tress and the um the deep the deep twist curl is very similar to what I'll be using um, it looks just like this so anyways I'm gonna go ahead again and slow it down for you um, so you can see I'm gonna separate it in three pieces and begin to start my plait and once I come around here I'm just gonna go ahead and add hair in now the product that I'm using this time is the this is the um, lock-in gel. I'm not sure if you've used the lock-in before, but the lock-in is really good. It's very stiff and it worked with her hair. Her hair is very thick and she's natural at the roots. So I'm not sure if she has a relaxer and just the roots have not been relaxed, but um, it seemed like there was a lot of new growth. So the lock-in worked really good with it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and plait it all the way down to the very end. And you guys are gonna see how it turned out now you can add the hair along the way but I seen this technique I seen somebody else do this particular technique and it made me want to do this it made me want to try it um, and I was thinking wow that's so much more easier so you really want to stay tuned so you can see exactly how I add the hair in and how it's gonna look really really full as well when I add the hair in and we're gonna move on to the next braid and I like to smooth at the roots the product and I'm gonna go ahead and separate it in three pieces and then I'm going to go ahead and start my plait. So separate it in three, as three at the base. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start my plait out. And then I'm going to insert a small section in. And then I'm going to insert, to me I do a little bit bigger my second piece that I add in. And the third piece is like the same size as the second piece but I always the first piece is always smaller um, but you may do different but the second and the third piece if I do a third piece they're they're pretty much the same size depending on the size of the braid that I'm doing so the first piece is smaller and the next pieces are all the same size that I add into the braid when I'm doing the knotless braids so I'm just going to go ahead and plait all of these down. Make sure you comment below and let me know what you do and how you add your hair. Do you ever add it in through the top? Um, or do you add it in um, from the side? Most people I see add it in from the side. I do different ways so you'll see different ways on my videos. Okay, so this is the part that we were getting to where we're adding the hair and all of the plaits are done. 
and I also the part that is not in this video is that I did curl the ends of her hair so I did take a roller and curl the ends but here it is where I'm adding it to the side with a crochet hook and I took a very thin piece so make sure it's very thin you see how thin that is and I'm pulling it through and now I'm gonna take one leg through and then just tie it and I'm gonna do this again taking a very thin don't stick it through the full braid stick it through like the side a side piece okay and use a very thin amount of hair and we're gonna just pull it through like that and I'm gonna do it again closer to the base a very thin section and I'm gonna do it again so just stay tuned and if you can see the curl pattern of that hair, that's that's what I use. So this is um, closer at the base, and I'm just doing the same with one leg and pulling it, and it and it stayed. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate these little thin pieces, and you want them to be thin because I think the more thicker it is, it may be too full, and also. Um, it may not stay so you want it to stay and I'm just going through a thin part of the side and then I'm just gonna go around and pull one leg through not both legs one leg through and then just pull and that's it and I'm gonna go now you may do more you may want it more fuller you may do less but this is how I did it I did three of them And you think that it's a thin, it's so thin, is it gonna be full? But yeah, it's gonna be full because imagine you doing this with every all of your the plaits. So yeah, it's gonna be full. You'll see in the end, it turned out really, really cute. She was so happy. And we pull in that, and that's how you do it right there. And look, look how beautiful it turned out. It was so pretty. Thank you guys. Make sure you comment below that you liked it um, and um, let me know your techniques. Bye.